So one of the most requested features for iPhone users is for Apple to add a feature that allows you to block any app on your iPhone using Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode. However, Apple has yet to add this feature to the iPhone, but there is a workaround. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to lock any app on your iPhone using Face ID, Touch ID, or the passcode of your device. Now, Apple does allow developers to integrate this into their applications. If we go to face id and passcode banking applications usually will allow you to do this before you log in or launch the app you need to authenticate with face id or touch id other apps like other wallets and things like that services and maybe carriers will do this but there isn't any feature that allows you to lock any app maybe you want to lock down the wallet application the emails app maybe the messages app so i'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to lock any app on your iphone using face id touch id or a passcode let's go ahead and dive right in now the great thing about this method is that it's super easy about a minute or two you only have to set it up once and never have to worry about it again so let's begin here and let's go ahead and launch the shortcuts application now this app is owned by apple so it's probably already installed on your iphone if it isn't links will be in the description go ahead and launch the shortcuts application and then select automations now under automations we're going to create a new one just like so and automations can be triggered in various ways but we're going to go ahead and select here the app options so go ahead and click into the app option and then select the application that you want to go ahead and lock. So go ahead and choose here and I'm going to go ahead and lock the messages application. This is a good one. So let's go ahead and lock messages, select that, click done. And right below here, you want to select run immediately. So select that, click next. And then in this panel, you want to go ahead and add a new blank automation, right? There's the option and then select the action, just like so. Here, you're going to go ahead and search for lock screen. Let's go ahead and do that and then select the option for lock screen and now you're done. So that took about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Once you figure it out, you'll be able to do it super quick. You can do as many applications as you want. So now if you ever leave your iPhone laying around unlocked, someone tries to launch the messages, boom, it locks directly to the lock screen, requesting face ID, touch ID, or a passcode in order to get inside the application just like so. And again, you can set as many applications or automations as you want. This was just the messages app as an example. So let's go ahead and set up another one here just to show you so let's go ahead select the app option choose the app let's go ahead and do settings as well let's go ahead and look for settings right here so there it is select settings click done and then run immediately click next go ahead and add the blank automation search for lock screen let's go ahead and do that and just like so select that and we're done Right there it is. So now settings will also be locked in place just like that. It goes to lock and then I will have to enter the passcode, use face ID or touch ID to authenticate and then the applications will be locked. This is the easiest and fastest way. This is the new method. I hope you guys enjoy this video, found this information helpful. Until Apple adds this feature to the iPhone, in my opinion, this is the next best thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.